left hand to everyone so today we discuss about the fourier series of some given function so actually what is the fourier series and uh, where it has the some applications etc uh, it is very important to us in our the uh, real life also uh, we can apply that the uh, fourier series and its applications also so for that this is at first uh, we have to know the applications of the fourier series we are it has the application applications of the fourier series is that first it has the huge applications in the electronics and electrical circuits that is for the department of the electrical engineering and also the electronics engineering it has the uh, various applications uh, for that one and also for the case of the signal processing uh, this is also for the electronics uh, engineering on that case it is very one applications for the signal processing system and also the today it has the various applications for the case of the image processing also uh, to uh, identify some image and it has the process how to find out that one also it has that applications on that the image processing system also and also for the case of the mainly in the uh, mechanical science or uh, in the civil engineering that one the vibration analysis also we can apply that the uh, Fourier series also so Fourier series it has the various applications in the various cases so next thing is that Fourier series its uses and how how it can uh, uses here so first thing is that the uh, periodic signal that means you have to given one kind of the periodic signal and that that periodic signal actually it will be converted into the infinite sum so that means the periodic signal that converted into one the infinite sum this is the first thing this is the uses and the uses means the infinite sum it will be converted into some infinite uh, sum and the next thing is that the periodic signal again uh, will be converted into the sine and cosine waves that means whatever the functions uh, you have to given and whatever the uh, signal it will be given that can be converted into the uh, sine or in the cosine form so this is the another one form it is the applications or the uses the processing is that wave form in the sine and the cosine next thing the functions which will be sometimes given it is the very difficult form or it is the uh, complicated form so the natures will be we can just apply that the Fourier series the function can be converted in the sine and cosine term such that it will be the very easy to solve so that means the solutions will be the very easier respectively which it was the difficult that function so this is the another one the applications of the uses this is the procedure and another thing is that whatever that the signal it is the given just its domain can be changed and on that domain the analysis it will be the better on that domain so that means the change of the domain it is the better analyze in the another domain so this is the another one thing that means we can analyze one signal in better way if we apply that the Fourier series so these are the process uses how we can use these are the four things already I provide to you next thing is that uh, before starting the uh, original definitions of the Fourier series we have to know the background or it's required some things that is the some the periodic functions what is the periodic functions it's required we have to know and what is the properties of the periodic function so first thing is that the periodic functions already I hope all of you know that also but uh, again I am provide you the definitions of that the periodic function a function that function is said to be the periodic functions if if of x plus t that's equal to fx this one that means what actually this t is always it will be the greater than zero and that t is called the period of that function so that means f of x plus t will be converted into f of x so that function is called that the periodic function and the t positive t is the period of that function so that function is called that the periodic function and next thing some properties of the periodic functions here are the some properties these are the some properties of the periodic function such that uh, suppose fx be the one periodic function and its period be the t suppose so then the first property is that 
n t is also will be the period of the function f x. This is first thing. And what is n? n is any positive integer. What is n? That n is any positive integer. So uh, next thing is that again f x periodic function with the period t then if we consider that any function f x equal to c constant function this is also the periodic function and its period with be any real number will be its period. So that means constant function is always the periodic function and we may consider any real number is that the period of that function. Number 3, f of a x, f of a x is also the periodic function and the period of that function is that t by a. What is a? If the denominator is a, so a must be not equal to 0. So this is the another one property, f of a x is also the periodic function with the period t by a. And the next another one if we construct the another one function such that a f x plus b g x where the function f x is the periodic functions with the period t and also another one function g x that is also the periodic function with the period t. So then if we consider f of a x f into f x plus b g x where the a and b are the two real constant then a f x plus b g x is also the periodic function and its period will be the t. So this is the another one property of the periodic function. So that means we now consider here the four properties. Number one, nt will be the period of fx. Constant functions be the periodic function. f of ax is also periodic function with the period t by a. And a fx plus bgx is also the periodic function. Next, for the Fourier series, it is required from the waveform. There are some special waveform are there. What are that the special waveform? That means the periodic functions, every kind of the periodic functions, it look like one wave. So what will be that waves? That waves are actually given in the here. It is in the form of the graphical representation. So some periodic functions, or it will be in the form of the special waveform. The first thing is that this is the square waveform first one. This is the square waveform. So what is the definition of the square waveform? f of x is equal to minus k in the interval minus a to 0 and k in the interval 0 to a with the condition with the condition f of x plus 2a equal to fx. This implies that this implies that f of x plus 2a equal to fx that means it is a periodic function with the period 2a here actually t is the periodic function with the period 2a this is the period of that function so that means if we just plot it in the graph then what happened just looking upon this graph here looking upon at the interval minus a to here minus a to 0 minus a to 0 its value is minus k that means this one this one is here the value and again at the interval 0 to a 0 to a that means 0 to a its value is k so that means here the graph will be this one so that means in the interval minus a to the a graph is this one here to here so that means in the total period 2a, the functions can be just plotted in the graph in this way and again just if we take it's the next interval that means a to 3a, this interval, again the graph plotted in this way here and here. So ultimately if we also take on the left hand side, so from minus a to 3a, minus 3a, 
So, in this interval, the graph can be plotted here and this way. So, ultimately up to the negative infinity and also if we go up to the positive infinity, we can find out the graph representations in a form of the wave. So, ultimately the form of the wave will be this is the wave of that graph. That means this is the nature of this graph is nothing but one kind of the wave. So, this wave is known as that the square wave form. Next there will be the another one that is another one wave form that is soft toothed wave form. Soft toothed wave form what is that one? So, definitions of that one it is f of x equal to x the interval is minus a to plus a. So, that is the interval and also it is given f of x plus 2a equal to fx. It implies that this is the again the periodic function with the period d equal to 2a. This is the period of that function. So, that means if we plot that functions in the graph, so that means in the interval minus a to plus a, if we plot it on the graph, it will be just this one. So, here this is the minus a and here this is the plus a. So, in the interval minus a to plus a, the graph can be plotted here, this one. And similarly, if we take the next interval, that means a to 3a, this one. So, a to 3a, the graph can be plotted in this way. And if we take on the previous interval, that means in the interval minus a to minus 3a, so graph can be plotted in this way. So, in the similar manner, we can go up to the negative infinity and also we can go up to the positive infinity. And this actually nothing but one wave type. So, this wave type form is known as that the soft toothed wave form. So, this is the soft toothed wave form and now we consider the another one that is the again special type wave form. This is the very important one wave form that is the half wave rectifier. Half wave rectifier. This is definitions of that half wave rectifier. This is fx is equal to k sin x interval 0 to pi and the value it will be the 0 in the interval pi to 2 pi and also here it is a given f of x is equal to f of x plus 2 pi that is equal to fx that means this is again the periodic function and with the period t is equal to 2 pi this is the period of that function. So, if we just plot that in a graph so, just looking upon here in the interval for this graph fx in the interval 0 to pi, 0 to pi means here this is the 0, 0 to pi. So, 0 to pi its value is that the k sin x, k is the constant that means if we just plot it here, it will be here on the graph you can see here looking up here and here this height is nothing but this is the k height. This height the distance is that the k distance. So, for that result this is the k sin x and on the remaining interval that means pi to 2 pi pi to 2 pi that means here pi to 2 pi its value is 0 so that means here this one so actually nothing but this graph is nothing but in this way this is the graph actually in the interval 0 to 2 pi again if we consider the next interval the next interval that means 2 pi to 4 pi so what will be the graph the same graph it can be drawn here in this way here and if we take the previous interval that means the previous intervals means here that 0 left hand side 0 to minus 2, 2 pi. So, here the graph also will be this. So, in this way we can go up to the negative infinity and also we can go up to the positive infinity. So, this is the another one form this is known as half wave rectifier and next thing another one and this form is the full wave rectifier another one full wave rectifier its definition of that wave that is fx equal to k sin x interval 0 to pi and 
pi to 2 pi its interval is minus k sin x and also here it is given f of x plus pi equal to f x and for that case it implies that here the period of that function t equal to pi this is the period of that function whereas for the case of half rectifier the period it was the 2 pi and now if we just plot this functions on the graph so just looking upon 0 to pi so 0 to pi 0 to pi this one and here its value is that the k sin x so it will be here the k sin x so this one this is the graph and also pi to 2 pi pi to 2 pi that means this pi to 2 pi negative k sin x that means it will be just here this one so actually here the graph is this one and this one so this is the graph actually on the interval 0 to 2 pi and similarly if we just plot it on the right hand side we can go up to the infinity and also on the negative side we can go up to the negative infinity in this way this is the another form that is known as that the half sorry it is the full wave rectifier next thing now we are just give the definitions of the periodic extension what is actually the periodic extension the periodic extension means suppose uh, the function sometimes it will be the given fx that will be defined on some particular interval but the function is not defined in the whole uh, real line so for the case of that the periodic functions it is says that it will be defined all over the real axis but since the function which is given defined on the interval minus a to plus a how it is possible to find out the value outside of that interval so that is known as that the periodic extension that means in any how we have to find out the functional value at the outside of that given interval so for that cases so if i take how we can extend that that is known it is the periodic extension and suppose if we consider this is the uh, x axis and this is the y axis if we consider here x axis and y axis and here uh, this is the origin and suppose the interval here it is minus a 2 plus a so that means if i plot here this is the minus a and here this is the plus a so this is the interval now question is that what is the a function that affects it is not known to us now so that means in anyhow suppose we consider the function is this one be the function suppose I may consider it this is the function fx this is the function fx okay so this be the function fx so that means the a plot of the functions minus a to plus a next the question is that what is the period of that function the period of that function if we consider t t be the period period is that 2a that means what is the 2a that means the distance from the left hand side to the right hand side minus a to plus a 2a so 2a is the period of that function so easily for minus a to plus a that is the period so next we have to find out the next interval what will be the next interval so next interval will be starting from a and ending with where now a plus a plus t a plus t means what so a plus a plus 2a that's it actually t a so that means here this is the 3a this point is 3a so that means on that interval here this is the 2a here 2a so next our target is that just take out this graph graph take out this graph and plot it on the next interval that means just we plot it on the next interval in this way and again if we go for the next interval from 3a to it will be up to the 5a 5a and on that interval the graph will be this one and similarly if we take on the negative hand side so the negative hand side next interval it will be minus a to minus 3a this one and if we plot that graph on this interval then it will be this in this way this is the graph and similarly 
if we take the next interval on the left hand side again so that means up to the 5a here minus 5a and we plot that graph again here so this one so in this process we may go up to the negative infinity and also we may go up to the positive infinity that means if i asked any number any point on the real axis we can find out the functional value if we consider this point the functional value this one and if i consider the point is here so functional value will be this one if i consider the point is here the functional value this one so that means whatever the function fx is given that is defined over the interval minus a2 plus a now giving the periodic extension this process is known actually the periodic extension now we can find out at any point what will be the functional value this is known as that the periodic extension so that means any function can be converted into a periodic function next one condition for fourier expansion that means uh, suppose sometimes you have to given one function whether that function have the fourier expansion or not every function does not have the fourier expansion but some function have the fourier expansion with some condition what is the condition that condition is known as dirichlet's condition that means if function fx fx it will have the fourier expansion if the function fx satisfy the dirichlet condition so actually what is the dirichlet condition so if function is said to satisfy the dirichlet condition if it satisfy either number 1 or number 2 this is or either or any one either the number 1 or the number 2 any one what is actually the number 1 dirichlet condition number 1 if x be continuous that means you have to given sometimes some interval suppose suppose here this is the interval this interval is given suppose a to b this interval the function f x this function f x must be continuous on that interval a b second case is that it will be the bounded the function must be the bounded in the interval a to b this interval next it will be the periodic the function must be the periodic in the interval a to b if not periodic we know how to convert it into the periodic function third thing is that it is integrable that means functions have the integration on that given interval next thing is that monotone on the open partial interval this is the very very important one things that is the monotone on the partial open interval partial open interval means what that means suppose uh, you have to given the interval this a to b that interval can be divided into sub interval in this way divided into sub interval finite number of sub intervals so we can divide it into finite number of sub intervals on that sub intervals if i consider this with a graph fx this is the graph fx so looking upon here on that particular interval the function is monotone that means the function will be either increasing or the function will be either decreasing on that interval so in every interval the function will be the monotone so that means if it satisfy the dirichlet condition this is known as that the dirichlet condition second one what is the second one that means if x has discontinuous point that means if the consider the interval a to b a to b be the interval this be the interval and on that interval suppose there are some points where the function is discontinuous so the first thing is that for the discontinuity at first we have to take the neighborhood at the this two points take the neighborhood on that two point and exclude that neighborhood that means we exclude that neighborhood from the interval so what is the remaining portion the remaining portion is from my a to this one and another one is this one and another one is this one so this is actually now the remaining interval next thing is that 
the it will be the bounded in the remainder that means remainder means the function should be bounded in this particular portion also bounded in this particular portion and also bounded in this particular portion and the next thing is that it is the monotone on the open partial intervals monotone on the open partial interval means that means if we consider here the how many intervals here three parts this is the first part here second part and also here the third part here the three parts are there at every part that means this is the first part or the second part and the third part at every part the functions will be monotone as like monotone means what monotone means the previous one actually what this one so this is known as that the dirichlet condition that means a function will have the dirichlet condition or the satisfy the dirichlet condition if it satisfy number 1 or if it satisfy the number 2 when the function satisfy the dirichlet condition then we say it has the fourier expansion this is the condition next thing is that definitions of the fourier series what is the definition here fourier series the definitions of the fourier series in the form of the euler so first thing is that fx defined and integrable ye do hona chahiye so it will the defined and integrable in the interval minus t to plus t then the fourier series of the function fx fourier series of the function fx will be equal to this one a0 by 2 plus summation an cos n by x by t plus bn sin n by x by t this is the definition of the fourier series and on that fourier series looking upon here the a0 an and bn this three things are only the unknown the remaining all other things are the known that means t it is known because the given interval that is the t and n this is the number integer n equal to 1 2 3 4 5 etc these are the n and that means a not an and bn this three things are the unknown our target will be that we have to find out these three things a not an and bn these are the formula for finding out the a not a not means 1 by t 1 by t integration minus t2 plus t fx dx here t is that the half length of the period so looking upon here what is the total length minus t to plus t so total length is the 2t that means length of the period is the 2t and we consider here 1 by t that means half period or the half length of the period so 1 by t minus t2 plus t fx dx that is the a not the value of a not next an an 1 by t minus t2 plus t fx cos n by x by t into dx this one and obviously n is the positive integer 1 2 3 4 5 up to infinity whatever it's be and bn that is also 1 by t integration minus t2 plus t fx sin n by x by t this is the value how to find out the fourier coefficients this three are the fourier coefficient and just find this fourier coefficient a not an and bn next put it on the given relation here this is the definition so you can find out the fourier series so this is the fourier series the definition of that one next thing is that definition of the fourier series in the different intervals so on the previous one i provided you here the uh, interval it was the minus t2 plus t that was the interval and uh, now here if the interval be changed then what happened so in the interval minus t2 plus t the uh, it will be the fourier series and on the same thing the uh, if we consider the interval c2 c plus 2t so then here fx will be equal to fx it will be equal to the same thing a not by 2 plus summation a n a n same thing same one cos n by x by t because here the total length is that 2t 
प्लस बी एन साइन एन पाई एक्स बाई टी दिस वन एंड ओबियसली एन इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी दिस वन सो लुकिंग अपन हियर द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द पीरियड इज दैट टू टी द सेम थिंग्स एगेन हियर एंड एगेन इफ यू कंसिडर द इंटरवल बी द माइनस पाई टू प्लस पाई सो इट्स इट विल बी द एफ एक्स इक्वल टू एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए नॉट बाई टू प्लस समय सम एन कॉस एन पाई एक्स बाई पाई एक्चुअली पाई बिकॉज टी इज यर पाई टोटल लेंथ यर दिस इज द टू पाई टू पाई इज द टोटल लेंथ सो दैट मीन्स हाफ लेंथ इज दैट द पाई हाफ लेंथ इज दैट द पाई सो फॉर दैट रिजल्ट यर इट इज द पाई एन पाई एक्स बाई टी प्लस बी एन साइन एन पाई एक्स बाई पाई दिस वन सो एक्चुअली इट विल बी ए नॉट बाई टू प्लस हमेशा ए एन कॉस ऑफ एन एक्स पाई बाई कैंसिल प्लस बी एन साइन एन एक्स सो दिस विद द फूरियर सीरीज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फूरियर सीरीज फॉर द डिफरेंट इंटरवल ऑल्सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट द फूरियर सीरीज टेकिंग दिस वन ऑन द इंटरवल माइनस टी टू प्लस टी C to C plus two T and minus pi to plus pi. Next one is that the one example. Okay, so now uh, we take one the example example of the one uh, Fourier series. That one here the one example uh, expand f x equal to x. That means is the function f x equal to x be the function. Uh, in the Fourier series, and hence so that this one. So first thing is that we have to find out the Fourier expansion of the function f x equal to x. This one. Next we have to find out this result. So for uh, since we have to find out the Fourier series, so first thing is that we have to find out what is the period of that function. So it is minus pi to plus pi. So period of that function. So obviously it is the two pi will be the period. So for finding out the three Fourier coefficient of that one, so a not be the Fourier coefficient first one a not a not equal to one by pi. This is the definition. Uh, a not equal to one by pi minus pi to pi f x dx. This one. So if I put here one by pi, this one the integration minus pi to pi f x dx. What is the value of f x? The value of f x equal to x here. So f x means x into dx. This one. And the value of this integration will be equal to zero. This one, just uh, we can directly write down the value of uh, this integration equal to zero because the function x is that the odd function, and odd function is minus pi to plus pi. This integration will be equal to zero, so this value will be the zero. Next one, we have to find out the another coefficient a n, a n equal to one by pi minus pi to pi f x cos n x dx. So that means one by pi. Integration minus pi to plus pi f x the value of f x equal to x into cos n x dx this one and what will be the value of this integration also again without any calculations we can say that its value will be the zero because of why because looking upon here uh, the integrand portion of this one x into cos n x x is that the odd function cos n x even function so product of Odd functions and the even function. That is the even function. So this is the odd function here. X into cos n x is the odd function. So odd function minus pi to plus pi. Its value will be the zero. And the last one that is the b n. Its value will be one by pi. That's minus pi to plus pi. F x. F x. The value of f x equal to Integration minus pi to plus pi f x equal to x sine n x sine n x dx. This one, the integrations of this one, 
that is equal to just uh, the value of the integration so 1 by pi uh, actually this is the uh, even functions x into sin nx this is the even functions so we can take it here the 2 by integration 0 to pi x sin nx dx so this is the integration and what will be the value of this integration so this is equal to 2 by pi 2 by pi integration of x sin nx so integration by parts x is the first function sin x is integration uh, minus cos of nx minus cos of nx divided by n minus derivative of first function that is 1 derivative of x equal to 1 into integration of this function this portion integration of this function that is the minus sin nx divided by n square this one and the interval is minus pi 2 plus pi this one so just here uh, this portion the value of this portion will be equal to 0 because here the sign it is the sign function is given so minus pi 2 plus pi its value will be no sorry this is the 0 lower limit this is the 0 so 0 to pi so this portion will value will be the 0 and the value of the of first portion here yeah. so for the lower limit 0 it will be the 0 and only the portion is that for the upper limit so its value x equal to pi so x equal to pi means 2 by pi 2 by pi with the negative sign cos n pi divided by n this one with the pi so pi pi cancel here so it will be the minus actually here this is the minus 2 by n cos of n pi this one and actually its value is equal to minus 2 into minus 1 to the power n minus 2 into minus 1 to the power because the value of the cos n pi that is equal to minus 1 to the power n so this is the value of the b n minus 2 by n into minus 1 to the power n so this is actually the value of the b n so next we have to put it on the next one here yeah f x equal to a naught by 2 this is the definition of the Fourier series so f x equal to a naught by 2 plus some sum a n cos n x plus b n sin n x this one so now we have to put the value of a naught a n and b n from the previous one so this is equal to uh, f x equal to actually so a naught the value of a naught what is the value of a naught previous space looking upon the value of a naught equal to 0 this is the value of a naught this is the 0 and the value of a n that is equal to 0. So, put on the here a naught here a naught 0 by 2 actually 0 plus some a sum a n a n equal to 0 plus put the value of b n. What is the value of b n? Just go on the uh, previous one previous space uh, this one that means minus 2 by n minus 1 to the power n. So, here minus 2 by n into minus 1 to the power n, this is the b n into sin n x. This one. So, now if we just uh, uh, calculate it, so first portion equal to 0. So, put here, here n obviously n equal to 1 to infinity, that is one. So, put n equal to 1. So, actually here uh, this portion n equal to 1 and say minus uh, 2 is here. So, minus 2 common here. So, n equal to 1 that means uh, sin x by 1 n equal to 2 that means minus 
साइन टू एक्स बाई टू नेक्स्ट एन इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस साइन थ्री एक्स बाई थ्री एंड प्लस साइन फोर एक्स इन दिस वे दिस इज द फोर इयर सीरीज दैट मीन्स लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इट वॉज द एफ एक्स एंड दैट मीन्स इट इज द एक्स सो एक्स इक्वल टू दैट सीरीज दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड फोर इयर सीरीज ऑफ द गिवन फंक्शन एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट सो दिस इज इज द योर एंसर x equal to 2 into sin x by 1 minus sin 2x by 2 plus sin 3x by 3 plus up to infinity. So uh, this is your the answer the Fourier series of the given function. First question and next is that we have to prove the second one. So for that case we have to put x equal to pi by 2 on both sides. So putting x equal to pi by 2, x equal to pi by 2 on both sides. So put x equal to pi by 2 here, x equal to pi by 2 here. That's equal to two into sine x sine pi by two. That means one uh, minus sine this value two x by two. That means two pi by two. This value equal to zero. Next one sine here sine three pi by two. Its value is the minus one. So it is that minus one by three. This one. Next value it will be that one by five. Actually, uh, here yeah, zero for the four. Next one plus one by five, and in this way. So that means if we just take it on the left hand side, its value will be equal to it is pi by four. This two on th this side, so pi by four. That's equal to one minus one by three plus one by five. Minus dot 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 to infinity. So this value is equal to pi by four. This is your the answer, and hence proved. So this is the one example for the Fourier series. How to find out the Fourier series, and also from the Fourier series we can derive this type of the 